What's going on guys, Travis McGraw here with uh, Dead Eye Outdoors and uh, today me and Chris are uh, gearing up for bear season. We got uh, the last couple of weeks me and Chris have been going up and uh, we built a new stand, found a new location, we cleared some, uh, cleared some trees to get our shooting lanes going here. Uh, today we're going up, we got to go get the barrel from our old place and we got to bring it to our new place and then we're going to throw some bait in. So today we thought we'd uh, do a video. Just kind of show you what we've been doing so far, and uh, so uh, let's get ready to do it. Ever pull that stun again? All right, guys. So it's the start of bear season. All right, guys. So the start of bear season. I'm with Travis here, um, getting down and greasy with the uh, the bears. We got some bait in the back, bait in the bag. Bait in a bottle, baby. I'm an athlete. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the barrels right there. Uh, it took about 10-20 minutes. We hauled them out from the previous spot we had last year. Storm hit us last year late, so couldn't get them out. It wasn't causing any damage. They're all cleaned out. No nails, no garbage, nothing. So, hooking them on the back of the Travis's Dodge right here. Taking them down to the new spot, probably about six, seven kilometers away. Shouldn't have any problems. Nobody's on the road right now. We're not doing anything illegal to dirt road. Put them onto the tail or the, the hinge like this. We'll lock it up and make it a little longer so in case he stops, just roll into it. Kind of like that, loosely. It's gonna be loud, but we'll get back to you when we're going into the spot. And uh, All right, so made to the spot. All right, a little gassed. Carbon tax one. <laughs> Can't afford no gas for my system anymore. All right, so what we brought in was uh, we have just for now two bags of cracked corn, two bags of fryer grease, a raw bucket. And uh, big old thing of hamburger uh, fat. So hopefully that works. I'm the hamburger fat. <laughs> so this is our barrels that we just lugged a long ways and pretty much died. So this is the area. This is the area. This is the spot. Give us a rundown of the spot, will you? Perspective. 208 pounds. <laughs> um, I'm uh, almost six foot. I say six one, but license says five eleven. Um, come on in. So we kind of cleared the area back here because we made the mistake of, in the previous year of uh, we kind of made a lean to so the bears could corner towards the barrel, and that was a big mistake because we had nothing. We had, it was dense wood behind it, so the only time we actually got a shot was when the bear was at the barrel and it had to be perfect. So this year, we kind of went through the area, cleaned it out, and we're not really going to do a lean-to this year, uh, close to the barrel. <coughs> we might do a way in the back there, so when the bears do come in, uh, we're going to be able to see them about 20 yards, 15 yards behind the barrel and at the bait site. So we should have a shot from all the way here. Forward. So if they're closer, we can shoot them closer and whatnot. <clears throat> so what we did, we just kind of chopped these trees down, and uh, our stand is up there, which looks unreal. So, hey, right, so that's the stand <clears throat> up there. What we did was we just cut all these trees down here. They're only about probably four feet high off the ground, and we just leaned them all. Up on the stand. <clears throat> I'll give you a run through of the stand here. Yeah. So here's the stand. As you can see underneath it, all braced up, looking good. A little thin wood, but we get up there, 
Uh, I'll get a cross brace there. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> I hate heights, by the way, guys. So this is like 30 feet. Just kind of crop it so it looks like I'm going up a huge tree. I don't care about this thing. Jeez, great angle for your butt. Yeah, I know. I'm putting it right there. I already said that. <laughs> Making my own day up here. Whose fucking chair's there? Move it up. Yep. See how fuck freaking crazy that guy is, guys. It's a <laughs> high one. I ain't even gonna pull it. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting up here when the snow gets in here. No way. Can't do that when we're filming. Actually, if I didn't have the tripod. This, we have uh, one standing up, that's gonna be for our corn and our mash we make. So, all we do is we take deep fryer grease um, with cracked corn because corn's gonna soak that up. It absorbs a lot of fibers and a lot of that fat. It'll stay in it. We stuff the barrel with sticks. You wanna come take a look at that? They're all rotten sticks as well because that's gonna soak in that grease with the corn. Um, and basically we have a little hole at the bottom of the barrel. We're going to cap this off, obviously. You can look at that. I'm going to cap this off so nothing will get in top of it. And it's going to leak out the bottom. <coughs> so it looks dry right now. That almost looks like a normal uh, hog or a hog, horse, whatever, deer feed. We're going to end up soaking that in grease. And we'll take you to the real barrel. So this is where our money is going to be made. This is where we're going to take the... Uh, all the bread, the donuts, uh, pita bread, whatever, meat, old meat, put it in there, and uh, we're gonna dump grease on top of that. So basically we load it up, that's gonna be capped off, but this hole right here, all we're gonna do is take big tree trunks, stick it in there, and then when the bear comes in, it's gonna have to play around, it's gonna make him stick around longer, knocking them big birch logs out, and uh, that's all we got right now. We'll show you what the final product looks like. It's our first bait of the year, so stay tuned. Boom, so we put the barrels up, we chain them a different way so no bears can either spin the barrels or drag them away. So the only way they're going to get into it is if they have a broadside and inside. So hole on this side, hole on this side, and then this is just a classic bear hunter's technique. Everybody does the same thing, unless you're baiting every second or every day. Uh, we stuck a uh, big log down there. We use these old dead sear logs. Over there, so we wouldn't have to cut any more of the forest. Um, we shove them right down in the hole. Only way they're going to get in that barrel, in that one hole, is to rip this all out. It's going to frustrate them, make them stand here longer. Um, and as you can see, I'm not walking right here. It's because we grease this whole forest floor. And that way, when bears come in, they're going to get their paws in that grease, track it across the whole forest, bringing more bears in. So if you want to come over here, take a little wide angle. Um, We've got this whole, this whole area is that, uh, that grain, so it's a cracked corn that soaks up that shit. Um, and basically we put in, Travis had, uh, what do you call it, uh, hamburger fat. Hamburger fat went in there, it's going to soak through, it's going to take days and days to dissipate through the corn. And uh, that's what we got now. So we're going to go back up in the stand, finish this video. This is day one, we're going to show you what it looks like and uh, we're going to go from there. So stay tuned for the DEOB. <laughs> Keep going! D-E-O Bear Series. <laughs>